Hi, I'm Sherry Stump. Thank you for joining me today. I'm reading from the devotional book, God's Amazing Grace by Ellen White. Today's reading is August 8th, found on page 228. The title of today's devotion is Sustaining the Spiritual Life. In John chapter 6 and verse 35, it says, Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. God speaks to us in his word. Here we have in clearer lines the revelation of his character, of his dealings with men, and the great work of redemption. Here is open before us the history of patriarchs and prophets and other holy men of old. They were men, subject to like passions, as we are, James 5.17. We see how they struggled through discouragements like our own, how they fell under temptation as we have done, and yet took heart again and conquered through the grace of God, and beholding, we are encouraged in our striving after righteousness. As we read of the precious experiences granted them, of the light and love and blessing it was theirs to enjoy, and of the work they wrought through the grace given them, the spirit that inspired them kindles a flame of holy emulation in our hearts and a desire to be like them in character, like them to walk with God. Jesus said of the Old Testament scriptures, and how much more it is true of the new. They are they which testify of me. John 5, 39. If you would become acquainted with the Savior, study the Holy Scriptures. Fill the whole heart with the words of God. They are the living water, quenching your burning thirst. They are the living bread from heaven. Our bodies are built up from what we eat and drink, and as in the natural economy, so in the spiritual economy, it is what we meditate upon that will give tone and strength to our spiritual nature. Spiritual life must be sustained by communing with Christ through His Word. The mind must dwell upon it. The heart must be filled with it. The Word of God laid up in the heart and sacredly cherished and obeyed through the power of the grace of Christ can make man right and keep him right. When his words of instruction have been received and have taken possession of us, Jesus is to us an abiding presence, controlling our thoughts and ideas and actions. Jesus Christ is everything to us, the first, the last, the best in everything. Thank you for being with me today. Please join me tomorrow when we'll read about what reveals God's character. And may God bless you abundantly above all you can ask or think.